Hey everybody, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be my review of Chapter 3 of R.E.M. Beauty. I was sent a package in the mail, and I'm so excited about it. Here it is. It looks like it's full of lip products. I did all of my makeup besides my lips. We're going to do lip swatches of everything. I will let you guys know my first initial thoughts, and I will also give you all of the info on these products when they're launching, price point, and all of that. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's go ahead and get started. So this is the third launch that REM Beauty has come out with also known as chapter 3. It is titled On Your Collar and we have five different lip formulas to swatch and try out today. Again I will give you all of the info on that but I wanted to show you guys a close-up of the PR package. It's pretty small and compact which I appreciate. It has really cool packaging. I love the little window here. I haven't really looked inside much. I just know there's a ton of lip products in here so here's what it looks like when you open it up we have lip oils lip colors lip liners and other things I don't know what this is right here so let's figure this out oh it's a little mirror oh my gosh oh it stands up this is wait does it so this little mirror stands up this part on velcros and then you can set up your mirror this is so cute I love that we also have a little scarf handkerchief type thing here with the little pink lips on it again so cute and then we have the lip products so the five lip formulas that we have in this collection are the classic lipstick the lip oil the liquid lipstick the lip liner pencil and the lip balm so um let's start with the lip oils because I'm thinking ahead as far as like pigment and all of that goes we'll save the pigmented stuff for last so let's go ahead and find the lip oils in here I will do swatches and lip swatches and all of that so I looked for a launch date on their Instagram couldn't find one so I went to their website and it looks like all of these products are already available so they will be linked down below and first up we have the lip oils look at how cute these are I love the different colors the packaging is super cute, very fitting and cohesive with the REM brand. So these retail for $16. Let me give you guys a little bit of info as I swatch these. So this is the Essential Drip Lip Oil. It says that it's a mega glossy lip oil that drenches lips in nourishing shine. And there are four shades. So I have all four shades to show you guys. The first one here is called Pick and Petals. This is the peachy one. And I'm seeing something on the wall wand that is very unique there is a little metal ball there I don't know what the purpose of that is here is what it looks like it basically looks clear on my skin it says that this is a sheer peachy pink with rosy scent and chamomile um it definitely has a super light rose scent which I'm excited to see what the other scents are I love when lip products are scented so already off to a fun start very very sheer though so you won't be seeing a lot of pigment with these next we have raspberry drip this one is described as a sheer raspberry pink with raspberry scent and ashwagandha i don't know how you pronounce that it's A-S-H-W-A-G-A-N-D-H-A. -A -A. Again, super, super sheer. I don't know that I could even really see a difference in the swatches. This one smells really good. Definitely more up my alley. I love a good fruity scent. Next, we have Lavender Kiss. This one is described as a sheer cool lavender with white tea scent and lavender extract. Again, basically looks like a clear lip oil. And then finally, we have this one here, which is called Mint Condition and this one is a sheer aquatic blue with minty scent and menthol there are the swatches as you can see they are very very sheer i do not think that these are going to show up differently on the lips but i'm going to try this one on this is the raspberry drip and see how this looks very interesting applicator i like it though i like the little metal ball it feels nice it's a very high shine formula definitely feels like a lip oil I feel like the scent is very mild not super strong I wish it was a little bit stronger but if you are not a fan of scented lip products um, these might be nice it's very very faint it feels nice on the lips 
feels very hydrating, non-sticky. Um, definitely not my favorite formula right away. I prefer some others, but it does feel really nice and I really like the packaging. So um, I think this is a nice one to try out, but I would personally have some other recommendations just right away, just like based on my first experience. Obviously I haven't worn this throughout the day or you know anything like that but just experience wise I feel like I would maybe recommend some other ones over this but I still think it's a really cool product I'm gonna try the blue one on next just to see if there's a difference in color but I don't think that there is here is the mint condition shade definitely the same exact color so um, you definitely don't need all of these I would say just pick a scent that sounds good to you and go with that one but I am happy to have these and I will definitely be using these this summer so super exciting first little product next we have the everything nice lip balm I believe there's only one shade of this and it retails for $14 let's go ahead and take a look how do we oh it do we unscrew it? Yes, you have to unscrew it. Oh, it looks sparkly. Oh, I'm so excited. Here is what the product looks like. It's a very pale pinkish tinted clear lip balm with some sparkle in there. Let's swatch it on the back of my hand. Okay, so you can definitely see the sparkle. It's not like overly dramatic or anything. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. It smells so good. It smells like cupcakes. So this says, go to dewy balm formulated with lip enhancement system known to promote fuller looking lips. Okay, so I don't think you need the lip oil, but you need this. This smells so good. It feels amazing. Very hydrating, a little bit thicker feeling than the lip oils no pigment to it whatsoever just that tiny bit of shimmer actually let me use my rem mirror oh my gosh it's so cute and the shimmer is like a kind of like a hot pink color but again very very subtle like you wouldn't know unless you were like looking super up close i'm obsessed i'm obsessed this is giving me my new go-to lip balm i'm gonna apply this every single day ah i'm so excited this okay this i experienced like super great joy these were like good but like again i would probably recommend say the lunar beauty or the jacqueline cosmetics over these but this right here you need this it's so good next up we have the lip liners these are so cool so here's what the component looks like i'm already wearing this first shade it is called harmonies and it's a really pretty kind of like mauvey pinky nude it has a matte finish here are the swatches of the three shades that I have. We have this pinky nude, kind of like a purpley, a deeper brown shade, and then a bright red. So I have four shades that I'm going to lip swatch for you guys. But these lip liners retail for $18 each, and they have quite a few shades. I just have four to show you. But it looks like they have um, a neutral pink, a pink nude. This is the uh, Honey Beige Nude. So I might look into those two lighter shades because neutral pink and pink nude sound amazing. They also have a rosy brown nude, terracotta rose, chocolate brown, violet burgundy, chestnut rose, bright blue red, and deep true red. So there's like 10 shades to choose from. Um, and these are actually retractable lip liners, which is really cool. They look like a regular pencil liner um you can see this one's kind of dirty because i used it but it's actually a plastic component and you just twist the bottom here to extend the product and you can retract it back down as well which i think is really nice i hate sharpening lip pencils so this is the type of formula or the type of component that i love but i also love a matte lip formula that's gonna last all day that's not super drying it was really creamy to apply it blended nicely i kind of just lined my lips and then rubbed my lips together and this is the look that i got so i love this lip color but i also love the formula so let's try out these other lip shades they are there's also a little peak of the color on the bottom which is nice so that you know what shade you're reaching for without having to like open up each lip liner but these ones i'm a little bit nervous about how i'm gonna feel about the color but i will try them on for you guys just so you can see the shades if you're interested 
Here we have the next shade. This is called Lyrics. This is a very bold, deeper, mauve purpley type shade. Definitely not one that I would wear on the everyday, but I actually kind of like it. I don't love it with my eyeshadow, and I would probably put like a little bit of gloss or balm on top of this, but for how deep the shade is and how light my lips are, I feel like the pigmentation is very even and... I, I really like the formula. Again, it is on the drier side. As far as like finish goes, it's not dry as you're applying it. It's pretty creamy applying it, but just like the feel of my lips feels very dry um, now, which is why I would probably put a little gloss or balm on top, which is what I would do anyway. But again, this is the shade Lyrics, and I think Poncho really likes this shade because he hopped up here to tell me that, didn't you? <laughs> um, so yeah, again, this is Lyrics. Next, we will do the deeper kind of brown, brownie nude type shade. This lip liner is definitely on the more difficult side to remove. You definitely need some sort of makeup remover <laughs> because, um, yeah, that was a little bit rough. But that just means it's going to last all day. All right, guys, so we're just going to ignore my application here and focus on the color. This is very deep, very dark on my skin tone, but I think it's really pretty. I probably wouldn't ever wear this as a lip color myself, just because I just am already not a fan of darker lip shades on me. I like very pinky nude, beigey, almost like kind of in my skin tone range. But again, extremely opaque as you can tell. Very pretty, but just not my personal preference for shade, but I definitely still wanted to show you guys once again. Um, this could be a really pretty nude on someone with a deeper skin tone, and it's definitely like Mm, it's a brown, but I would say it's more of like a purpley brown shade, so it has kind of like a cooler undertone, um, but yeah, it's, it's definitely very deep, very, very cool though. I like it. It's, it's unique. I love the variety of shades that I received in my PR package, let alone that they have on their website. This is going to be fun to try to... <laughs> rub off of my lips oh my gosh this is a wet makeup wipe <laughs> oh my gosh I need that uh, Jaclyn Hill like lipstick remover thing you thought I was kidding <laughs> but I'm not did y'all see that you saw y'all saw how easy that was to remove and here we have the last shade I don't even know if I told you guys what the previous shade was the deeper brown shade is Reverb, and then this red shade here is called um, 808S. 808S? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but it's a really pretty bright red shade. Very creamy. I feel like this one was a little bit creamier than the two deeper shades. Um, very bright and fun. I don't wear red a lot, but I know I get lots of compliments when I do wear red, so thank you guys so much for always telling me red looks good on me. But I just, I never wear red because it's just... It's bright and it's a lot, <laughs> definitely out of my comfort zone, but I really like this red. This is a red that I would definitely wear. I like that it's very bright and just like a nice, pretty, cool toned, true red. Um, so yeah, those are all of the lip liners. Again, very pigmented, very fun, very colorful, good shade range, and I really do enjoy this formula. This one definitely feels less drying than these two deeper shades. The two deeper shades felt a little bit on the drier side, but nothing that a little lip balm can't help or lipstick or liquid lipstick or whatever you're gonna put on top. But again, those are the lip liners. Definitely a fan of those, especially that first shade that I tried on. I feel like this is a good winter shade for me because it's a little bit more cool toned um, and a little bit deeper than my usual go-to. And again, this one is in Harmonies, the one that I personally like the shade of. So yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the lipsticks. These are really cool lipsticks. They're super skinny. I really like the packaging on these. Um, and then the last product that we'll have to swatch and review are the liquid lipsticks. Next up, we have the lipsticks. Here is the first shade that I have on my lips. It's a really pretty nude color. I love this color. I feel like it's a little bit more beigey than I typically would go for. I usually like a pinky beige, but this one is definitely pulling a little bit more beige on my lips. 
This is the shade Lingerie, and this is the On Your Collar Classic Lipstick. It looks like there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten shades of these, and they retail for $19 each. Again, I will have four shades to show you guys, but here is the first one, Lingerie. I love this color. I would recommend this color if you like other lip shades that I enjoy. A um, little bit kind of grazy, cool toned, but beige with a little bit of pink in there. Really pretty lip color. I love it. And these smell amazing, super creamy, very hydrating. Love the formula. They kind of remind me of a cream sheen from MAC, if you are familiar, like a uh, cream cup. Very similar formula to that lipstick. Next up, we have the shade Cuddly. This one is much deeper than the previous but it still has that kind of cool toned mauve color to it so let me wipe this off and then do a lip swatch for you i actually love the shape of the lipstick itself it makes it super easy to apply i love how small the surface area is again this is the shade cuddly this is described as a rich red brown which on the back of my hand it definitely looks more cool tone but it is pulling a little bit more red on my lips very pretty creamy formula very pigmented again I'm loving this formula this isn't a shade I would probably wear myself but it is still a really pretty color and I feel like if I had the right outfit the right makeup the right you know event or reason to I would wear this color like I think it looks nice um, I don't think it looks bad on my skin tone or complexion or anything. It's just to get out of my comfort zone. But for it being a deeper lip, I actually like the way that it looks on myself. So again, this is the shade Cuddly. This next shade here is what I would consider more of like a vampy shade. <laughs> this is CEO. Very pretty, deep, rich red color. So creamy. Like, I'm just going to swatch this so you guys can see how pigmented and creamy the formula is like that is one swipe coverage that's all you need it has a really pretty slight shine to it which I'm loving and again this is not a shade that I would typically wear but I actually kind of like this um, I would do something different with my eyes but I really like the color and also the tops are magnetic which we love to see love that feature on the packaging the final shade that i have to swatch for you guys is attention and this one is a brighter red color Ooh, that would look pretty with the red lip liner that we tried um so yeah let's go ahead and try attention on my camera battery is about to die so i'm going to change that and then we will be back with some bright red lips here is the shade attention again love this this is a standout lipstick formula i'm gonna have to see if they have any other like pinky nudes because i could see this you okay bud <laughs> i could see this becoming one of my go-to lip formulas again it reminds me a lot of cream cup from mac the formula not color obviously but formula wise um what, what is it buddy do you like the red do you like it when i wear red lipstick Oh, I think that he likes it a lot. So again, we have another poncho approved item. These lipsticks from REM Beauty, poncho approved. <laughs> All right, so now the last lip form that we have to swatch are the liquid lipsticks. And again, I have four shades here. So it looks like we have a red, a deeper kind of burgundy shade, a deeper mauvey color, and then this lighter kind of nude shade. So let's get swatching here we have the first shade of liquid lipstick these are going to retail for 19 dollars each and it looks like again we have one two three four five six seven eight nine shades of this this first shade is called hottie it's a really pretty color this is a brown nude as they describe it here is the swatch super pigmented I really enjoy this formula. It's definitely drying down to be a more matte liquid lipstick, which I, again, also enjoy. This color is a hit. It's drying down, and it's so comfortable. I I haven't had a lip, liquid lipstick this comfortable in a very long time. 
it definitely still has a little bit of transfer so it's not transfer proof but as you can see we still have full pigmentation and coverage on the lips even after the little kiss test so if you're looking for a comfy liquid lip that dries down to a I would say like a soft matte finish this is it right here this color is so pretty I will definitely be wearing this shade a lot that's probably the only shade that I will wear regularly from the ones that I have again I'm just sharing that so you guys know my color preference so if you don't see me using these products it's just because of the color itself and not necessarily the formula but I do kind of want to branch out with my lip colors more every time I do a lip swatch video I'm like wow like why don't I ever wear color on my lips but um, it's just easy to get into your daily routine and what you're comfortable with so anyway once again this is the shade hottie next I'm going to swatch the shade yum which is I would say similar but definitely much deeper also the doe foot applicator is very unique I love the way that this is angled it makes it very easy to apply and it's really cool again very innovative so here is the swatch of the shade yum let's go ahead and apply this to the lips here is the shade yum this is actually so pretty i love this deeper kind of like mauvey almost berry toned shade again very thin on the lips very very natural this has got to be one of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas that i have tried in a very long time like I'm obsessed if I can find a color like a pinky nude that looks like cream cup I will be purchasing it and I will be wearing it every single day because this formula is incredible and I am not exaggerating it's it's amazing this next shade here is called absolutely and this is the first one that I noticed it was a little bit sheer on my lips in the swatch it looks very opaque but when I was applying it to my lips it's just the slightest bit sheer and that's not a bad thing I feel like because it is a thinner formula um, and this is a deeper color on my lighter lips you do kind of see through it a little bit but I actually really like it it makes it more wearable for me personally and um, again formula like feel and everything consistent with the others I love the way that this feels and I even like the way that this looks I was not expecting to like the way that this lip color looked on me, but I really do love it. So um, again, this is the shade Absolutely, and now we are moving on to our last lip swatch. Thank goodness, because my lips are, <laughs> they're having it, um, they're done having it actually. Uh, so finally we have Diva, which is going to be this really pretty kind of red color. So let's go ahead and apply this, and I will be back for my final thoughts. Even applying this product... I'm, I'm having a good experience. I just, I love this formula. <laughs> I'm actually going to look on their website now and see if there's a shade that I think I need. Let's see. Oh man, it looks like Wifey might be the lightest shade. Mmm, leave a message. I might need to buy leave a message because this one is described as a light peachy nude. No, warm peach nude, which... Typically I go for more pink, but I have been loving peaches for eyeshadow and lips recently. So leave a message. I might have to pick this one up because that color is beautiful. Look at that. You won't be able to see it, but it looks really pretty. So again, this is Diva. I love this color. It's really, really pretty. I love the formula. I love the feel of it. When I press my lips together, I feel a little bit little slight bit of tackiness but nothing that you wouldn't want to feel I feel like again this one is a little bit more on the sheer side so I will just kind of add a tiny bit it's definitely buildable which we love so if you don't want that sheer look you can build this up let me swatch this on the back of my hand to complete our <laughs> lip swatches i love that they sent such a variety like in every lip formula you can see we have kind of like a pinky color a deeper mauve a deeper brown or berry and then a red so very good variety whoever sent out these pr packages you knew what you were doing um and yeah those are all of the lip products so um overall my first impression 
all of these products are really nice. I think they're all great. Um, I do prefer some over the others. I would say my least favorite is the lip oil, which surprised me because I was really excited. And I still do think it's a nice lip oil. But again, I would recommend others over this, but I still think this is nice. If you're a fan of R.E.M. Beauty, you're not going to be disappointed with this lip oil. It's, it's really nice. I like that they all have a different scent, different color, you know, whichever one fits your aesthetic. I think they're nice. I think price-wise, everything's priced pretty fairly. Um, everything's under $20, so, you know, some kind of closer to $20, but everything's under $20, which we'd love to see. Um, the... what else? I don't even know. What would I rank next? Probably the lip liners next. I loved the lip liners. I felt like there was a little bit of inconsistency with the dryness of the shades, which I know is typical. Um, I've heard that those deeper shades do just tend to be a drier formula, um, but I still loved those, and I will absolutely be adding the shade Harmonies to my everyday makeup drawer because I love that color. Then I would say... I don't even know. My top three are for sure the lip balm, it's great, the liquid lipstick, and the actual lipstick formula. I feel like I would do first place the lip balm, second place the lipstick, and then third the liquid lip, but honestly all three of these, you guys need to try these formulas out because they're all amazing. Um, and again, the lip liners and the lip oils are great as well, do not get me wrong, but this is where it's at. These are the three best formulas in my opinion. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Again, I will have all of these products linked down below. Let me know your thoughts on chapter three. Do you like that they did all lips? Do you wish there was more? What would you, what, what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments down below. I love you all so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.